objection. An, an objection is something that I'm allowed uh, to do. Even if it was a court of law, I'm allowed to object. But and what I was saying, what I was saying is uh, that is not. Who the, is disturbing you now? Who's disturbing you there? Uh, please, uh, I proceed. To advocate. It's you. It's you, disturbing you there. It's you. It's you, uh, honourable chair. But I'm not behind you. I'm here. Yes. No, I'm saying that uh, the when I'm raising an objection, then I am. When I'm raising an objection, honourable chairperson, may I also request that uh, mm. honourable advocate addresses you as the honourable chairperson of the house. Uh, this is a parliamentary committee and a formal committee, and uh, every chairperson should be addressed as the honourable chairperson. May I please uh, insist on the correct manner in which you are addressed? Well, let's okay. proceed uh, so that you do continue the cross examination with the witness, and maybe if you are able, so that you. There's a lot of traffic there behind you. If we want you, we, yes. you want us to pause and then you fix that because we don't want anything distracting you. No, it's fine. It was just my PA. I don't know why she walked oh. behind me. Okay. But, uh, Chair, uh, Chair, my hand uh, is up if you don't mind. And as, uh, uh, Honorable Maute, I see every hand. Please can advocate in both who finish first and then I'll recognize you. Thank you, Chairperson. So, okay. so, thank you, Chairperson. Uh, uh, so, Honorable Chairperson of the House, can I please ask for permission? Because I, I, I know Honorable um, Tina Jumat feels uh, strongly about this. But uh, do, I want to know if you are offended if I call you Chairperson, because I'm doing that with all due respect but for us to move. I don't think for the next few weeks, if I have to say Honorable Chairperson of the House, Please don't take it as a um, disrespect if I call you chair, because other members also call you chair. I think I, the levels of respect must be uh, equal to okay. all of them. No, Advocate Mpo, for you, you, you are allowed to call me chairperson or chair. Um, yes. But, and you but, can read that. I mean, honorable chairperson when I say that. <laughs> Actually, I, that's what I wanted to assist you with. I'm uh, coming to you, honorable Maute. Uh, just, just a pause. Just a pause, honorable Jumat. Yeah. Honorable Maute? Yeah, I wanted to assist you on the very point that Advocate Nipov is raising of calling honorable chair. There's no rule like that that says you must call people honorable chair or honorable. It just says you can call them master or missus. There's no rule. Honorable Jomat must go and read the rules properly. There's no rule Thank like you, that. Uh, so you can okay. be called chair. You can be called Thank Mr. Janji. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you, Honorable Maute. Uh, the point has been cover canvassed. Thank, uh, Thank you. Honorable. Thank you, Chairperson. I object <laughs> to the fact that you were calling you, you, you. And that was incredibly disrespectful. Okay. I accept that you will be called Chairperson but definitely not the manner in which you were dressed as you, you, you. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Honorable Jumat. Advocate Mbofu, please proceed. Thank you, Chair. No, th ch Chair, you'll forgive me. I'm not a, a member of the House. So I, all I want to register is that if things like that happen, it's not out of any disrespect. It's and well I, understood. It's well yes. understood. And, and when I say that, I don't know if who is allowed to call you, you. Because Honorable Tumat just said, I don't want Advocate Mbofu to call you, you. But he ch she just called you, you, herself. So if I'm, le I'm a less of a person and I I'm not allowed to say you, then... Uh, That's fine. You Thank you, Advocate. ...who was the head of NIA or SSA, correct? Uh, yeah, if I remember, he was a former head of SSA. Yes. Thank you. So the answer is yes. I have answered. Mm -hmm. you okay, you, you prefer, you don't like answering, simple, giving simple answers to simple questions. Or do you think maybe I'm tricking you if I say the answer is yes? 
Oh, sorry, Council. No, um, I I do respond to questions, and I think I've provided an answer, Council. And that answer amounts to a yes, correct? Um, Council, I I want to answer the way that I'm comfortable in in answering. Um, I, I don't want to be prescribed as to how I should answer. Now, I'm not saying how you should answer. I'm telling you how, what I read from that answer, and you can disagree or agree with me. So from that answer you've given, uh, I take it as a yes that um, Advocate Matoncella consulted with SSA on NIA. You can say, no, no you are wrong. You are wrong, Advocate Matoncella, or you are right. Yes, he consulted with Mr. Billy Masek. Therefore, your answer to my question is a yes. Yeah, you can say yes. Thank you. Right, then I think we're going to move nicely now. Yeah. And that meeting was on, on the other side. There was Mr. Ramabulane and Mr. Arthur Fraser, hmm. otherwise known as King Arthur these days. Correct? Um, yes, there was uh, Mr. James Marama Bula, named Mr. Arthur Fraser, and Minister David Marshall at that meeting. Very simple question. By the time you made the statement, at least two occupational detriments had occurred. Yes or no? I was suspended and I was charged. Yes, that means at least two occupational detriments had occurred. Because I read the definition for you. Please, let's not waste time. I've given an answer, Chair. No, and that answer means you are refusing to answer my question. No, I mean, I've, I'm not. I've, re I've given you an answer. <laughs> but why are you not uh, simply asking a simple question? I'm putting it to you that two occupational detriments have occurred, yes or no? I said... I was charged at the time and I was also suspended at the time. Doesn't that answer your question? Uh, advocate? No, why don't you just answer my question straightforward, okay. yes or no? At advocate, why, do I need, why do I need to work out a long a, route? Yeah, just, just, just a pause, Advocate Bo. Yes. Uh, Mr. Kegan has responded in the affirmative to say he was both charged and suspended. The person, no, please, you're not allowed to do this. I'm asking you, I'm asking the witness. To your, he has responded to your question. No, he has not, Chair person. I'm responded. putting a different question. I've, I know he responded to that question. I'm now asking another question, all right? Which is that uh, because of that answer, would you agree with me that at least Thank two you. occupational detriments had occurred, yes or no? That's a different question, I understand. Thank you, Advocate Impo, for just a pause. Advocate Bauer? I, I really don't want to interrupt, but an occupational des des detriment, the list of A2H arising out of the disclosure. And I think it's only fair that Advocate Paufel puts that to the witness properly. Yes. Okay. Just before um, before I go back to you, Advocate Impo, for honorable... Yes. Person, I've raised this before. And I'm going to raise it again. Advocate Mpofu has now said, you can't do that to you. And I'm afraid, Chair, that you have every, every right in terms of the directors, in terms of your function as a chairperson, in terms of the powers of parliament to, to interrupt him, to stop him from making repetitive statements, to, to do what is necessary to make sure that this flows. So I find it very disrespectful of Advocate Mpofu to tell you how you are to conduct your meeting. Thank you, Honorable yes. uh, Mayelham. Can Thank I respond? For that redirection. Um, I would want us to proceed, Advocate Mbofo, with the witness. Yeah, but you must allow me to respond, Chairperson, surely. On what now? On what I've just been accused of. Uh, Honorable Chair. Okay, just... Thank mm -hmm. you.